Hey everyone, Reed here. Today, I would like to talk to you about the new workspace experience in Power BI. Now, one of the biggest features of this new workspace is the ability to create template apps that can be shared outside of your organization. Plus, there's some really great ways to go through a release management cycle and test before pushing to production. So let's get started and I'll walk you through how to create and manage one. So to start with, I'm going to show you in the Power BI service how to create the new app workspace that allows you to create the template app links that I discussed. So we're going to come over here to workspaces. I'm going to go ahead and select create app workspace at the bottom. And over here, let's go ahead and call this app workspace demo. Now the important thing that we want to click down here is develop a template app. This workspace is saved as a template app workspace that is used to create an app for distributing clients outside of the organization. That's the important part. This link can be used anywhere, which is how I created my app source template that many of you have been downloading recently. So I'll select that and I will select save. There we go. I have app workspace demo under my workspaces. I'm going to go ahead and publish my Google Analytics file to that. So I'll put that in here pretty quickly. Now I'm using my Google Analytics app just as a file, but it doesn't really matter which. The reason being is there needs to be some type of report in that workspace for me to actually publish it as a template. So I'm just putting something in there. I'm going to publish that to that app workspace demo that we just created. Hit select. And there we are. Now that I have a report here in my workspace, we can see that under reports as well that is in here. I can now come up to something called release management. So if I select that and you look over here, you'll notice that there's a workspace testing, pre-production, and production. So let's start by, instead of discussing all of these, let's just create an app and then I'll walk you through each of these stages. So I'm gonna say create app, and it will need a description. So I'll just, again, call this app workspace demo. There we are. And it gives you an option for support site, logo, colors as well, and a few other things in terms of content. So as an example, if you wanna specify a landing page, you can say which content in this app template will be first viewed when somebody adds it and control as well in terms of what they can do with it, whether or not they can connect using external authoring tools, other things like that, uh, as well as exporting the data in terms of connecting with Excel or other data tools like the Analyze and Excel plugin can all be accessed here. And then access of entire organization or individuals in terms of email address, either within or outside of the organization. Now it's important to note that one thing that does not get included with this at the moment is data flows. That is something that's being discussed and should be coming soon, but at the moment it is not currently available in these. So I'm going to go ahead and select create app down here at the bottom. And what that will do is I now have a link available for testing. You can test this app and share this link with everyone in the organization or that you've given access to um, internally. So let me close this and just give you a better view of this right now. So if I come up to release management and open this window, you will see that I have a workspace where my actual app workspace is existing for this. Um, but now there is a separate section called app workspace demo in the testing phase. So this specific link here, the get link that you'll see that will pop this window back up. This link only works for people within your organization. So it's designed to kind of be the first stage of testing with a few key individuals to make sure that it works. Now, once you have tested that and vetted it, you have the option to now promote app. And what this will do is it will promote it and make this link available to the public. So anyone outside of the organization can now use this link to add the app workspace to their organization. So if you click promote, you get the same link. This same link has now been promoted from the testing to the pre-production phase. So let me close this and kind of just point to that over there. So that link that was at testing is now the same link in pre-production. So if you shared that link with somebody internally, it will still continue to work. And now this is designed to be essentially pre-production um, and have a lot of people to be able to test this and to kind of do the final polishes on any changes or anything else that might be needed. Now, if that's also been tested and vetted, then you can finally, again, take the same link that's in pre-production, you promote it, and that will finally push it to the production line in there. Same link again, and that is now the final stage. And that's the thing that's being shared. Um, in my example, that is the thing that's in the app workspace, but that is one link that has gone from testing to pre-production to production, a single link that has followed this entire journey all the way to the end. Now, if at any point you'll notice that there is a version one down here, if I need to make a change to my app, let's say that at some point in the near future, I've made an update, added a visual, something like that. So I want to push changes out. So now that flow will follow through this again. If I create an app after I've republished my report, I would do the create app thing again, select this button here, 
Go ahead and close this. Notice that it says version two. Let's take a look at our release management. Very important to note right here, that version one link down at the bottom, that is still the original version of my report file in that workspace. So users that have been connecting to that and linking that are still getting that version that is in production at the moment. But what I now have is a second link and a second version here that's in the testing phase. So a new link that can be shared with internal users to test. After that testing has been completed, I can now promote that to pre-production. Promote that there. There we go. So same link has now been moved from testing to pre-production. So I have a second testing link here and the original one here is that by the time you actually get to production, if I select promote app right here, that will overwrite the original link that is in here. So you will have to give people a new link. And if they want the new version of this app source template, they will need to re-download or re-add via the link that is provided here. So that's an important thing to know is that if you have this link hard coded anywhere on a website or anything, or in my case, app source, something like that, that will break that link. So just be careful about doing this. That's just the design at the moment. They are looking at potentially other ways to accomplish this in the future and to actually update rather than overriding. But at the moment, it will replace the link in here. So just be cognizant of that because we technically have two links right now, but clicking this, promoting it, there we go. That link here is now the new link. We only have one, but that version one link no longer exists. So that's a very important reason why I wanted to do this video is to talk to you about how these links get pushed through with the release management phases and how they override each other once they get to that point. And that about covers it for this video. If you found this video useful, please click or smash that like button below. If you have anything to say or have a suggestion for your future video, add that down to the comment section. And if this is your first time here or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. And otherwise, I will see you in our next video.